words about this man who is uh, part of the greatest generation in ever lived. Truly a defender of our freedom allows us to be here today because of guys like this. Always nice to be around another good looking guy with a mustache too, don't you think? <laughs> Love seeing him at church. A few things. Nate, 17 letters in high school. Get out of here. <laughs> Pole vaulting, 14 feet, 1940. First sergeant, United States Army, World War II, Norman. University of Minnesota, and he played that four letter word, golf. He's an NBA, he's a deke, 52 years with Nancy, God bless him. He married above himself like most of us guys do, right? Blessed with three marvelous children, Jay and Becky and Jeff, and Jeff preceded him in death in 93. Lucky to be enough to be married a second time to his lovely Ellen by Bud Lindbergh. 19, it was in 2004, so about 15 years. Yeah. He married above himself twice, what can you say? He loved that four-letter word more than anything else in the world, though. Golf, golf, golf. Five sets of golf clubs, 25 pair of golf shoes. Had to move down to a place that was warm so we could golf year round. Nice thing about golf is that the Lord's name is mentioned almost every single time that you're in the club, right? Yeah. Active member, men's gyro, cherish friends, poker nights, watching football. I mean, he was a real guy, right? Come on. Enjoyed, how about this, enjoyed potato chips and onion dip while waiting for his sweetie to make him dinner. Thanks for being so good to him, sweetheart. He loved to sing. He did have a great voice, by the way. That is so true. Choir and funerals and weddings. And I understand from this note that you love listening to him sing Grace before dinner. You were so smooth, baby. <laughs> he was a gentleman. Always looked good. Always on time. Everything was just right with this guy. You know, my my mom would say, "What's so wrong about doing it right?" It's Nate. <laughs> yeah, it's Nate. Loved cars. But first and foremost, he loved his family. Well, probably loved the Lord first, not the family. 
He was a God guy that never beat you up with his faith. He lived it by being in service to you. You we all have our wonderful Christian friends who wear their halos so tight that there's no brain, blood going to the brain. No, this guy lived it by being in service to others. So God's book has words. Psalm 118 said, I called upon the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. Nate's free. He's with the Lord. And all the other great saints that have gone before. The book of Job, after all that horrible stuff happens to Job, he says this. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he shall stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God. Guess who's seeing God? And God said, Welcome home, good and faithful servant. Romans says, We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. You are the Lord's. It says so that before that great love chapter, you are now the body of Christ. Each individually members of them. Go make a difference in someone else's life today. Just like this knucklehead did. Jesus sees his best friend's graveside and he cries like crazy. Lazarus. Right before that, he waits before he shows up to the graveside. And Martha comes after him and says, Lord, you know, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Jesus said, I am the resurrection of the life. Those who believe in me, though they die, shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never perish. Nate's never going to perish because you're going to talk about him until you see him again. Every time you're out there swinging that stick or playing cards, or he's always going to be with you. The bummer is we can't touch him. He has changed your life because you showed up today. Big deal you're here. Big deal. Philippians says that our commonwealth is in heaven, and from it we await the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him to subject all things to himself. Let's pray. Gracious Lord God, in the sure and certain hope of the promise of the resurrection to eternal life through our Savior Jesus Christ, we commend to you this day our brother Nate and we commit his body to its resting place. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lord, bless him and keep him. Lord, make your face shine upon him and be gracious unto him. Look upon him with your favor. Grant him your peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Please grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and awake to your likeness. To you, the author and giver of all life, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. See you, buddy. <laughs> Please remember today and every day that the Lord blesses you and keeps you. The Lord's face shines on you and it's gracious unto you. The Lord looks upon you with favor and grants you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.